Hello and welcome to Four Clovers Quilting. My name is Dion. I was digging through stuff the other day and I found a flannel quilt, my first flannel quilt, that I had already started. And I thought, hey, that's halfway done. Let's just dig that back out and see what's going on with it. The, pa the pattern is called Brickwork by Primrose Cottage Quilts. And I downloaded it, I, I wanna say from Annie's, but I'm not exactly sure. But it's just, looks really fun, easy, just geometric with different size blocks and sashing. So I found this Fat Quarter Bundle, it is Fat Quarter friendly. Um, the Fat Quarter Bundle I got was called, I think it's, it's Snow, pa Snow Place Like Home, I believe is what it's called. So I chained up a bunch of stuff today, yay! So, um... I had gone through and I stopped when I got to this cryptic note. It says, move band to top of second piece. Hmm. Since I started this a couple years ago, what does that mean? I've got them all matched up, but since this is directional, I think this needs to go on that side because it sits this way in the quilt. So I think that's what that means. Don't you love a good cryptic message from years years past? You're thinking, now what was I thinking? So anyway, I've gone through and I've matched up all of these so they wouldn't, and they're paired up, got them pinned together. I just need to whiz through and sew them. And so I remember sitting on the couch, watching crime shows probably, and I, um, I wanted to make sure I didn't have too many blacks, no matching patterns. So that was that was kind of a challenge. <laughs> but I have them I have them all pinned and ready to roll. And I've got all of these sewed today. And then I ran into this. So then I had to stop and wonder what that meant. But I think I figured it out. I'm going to change the camera angle. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna change that so you can see me cut all these apart and I'll show you what the block looks like. Okay, I don't know if any of you have used this Blade Saver, I think it's called. Yeah, Blade Saver, purplehobbies.com. They're just really fun. You, this, I, well, it comes out and you put your old blade in there when it's not good for slicing up your fabric, it's a little dull. You just pop that in here and it works as a thread cutter and you can change when that gets a little dull you change it to this side you can just flip it around it's really kind of cool and you just go in and let me make sure you can see this and you just ah, it's kind of fun so you go through and you just cut your threads and you're all set so this is what the block looks like finger press that to that solid piece get the string out of here so this is what the block looks like it's it's just a fun little block they're all like that and they're just turned different ways in the pattern so that is gonna be fun and I will be back once I get the rest of this sewn and I think there's another note in here so you know I yeah here's another one that says the same exact thing so hmm I will have to use my memory and see if I can figure out what I was talking about. See you in a few. As you can see, I have the brickwork quilt top finished behind me, done with that cute flannel called Snow Place Like Home. I did start it for Dad a few years ago, and unfortunately, I'm not going to regret it that he didn't get it. I was making this for him because mom loved snowmen and this has snowmen in it and dad was so cold the last few years that I thought that'd be a nice snuggly blanket for him during the holiday season and the winter but I didn't get it done in time so I live with a little regret but you know that doesn't do anybody any good so somebody will make some good use out of this quilt. It turned out to be 64 by 73 so it's a pretty good size quilt and I'm just gonna bind it in black and call it good. I think I'm going to do just a black flannel back 
background or backing. And I have all these pieces that I sewed together in a strip left over. So I've got this big long piece that I'll hopefully piece into the back. So there we go. It's really fun and it went together super quick. I was I was really happy at how quick it went together. And I'm not used to working with flannel, so it was pretty fun. So this little guy's gonna go on the back and I'm just gonna probably offset it off, not have it in the center, offset it a little bit from the center. And then, you know, if it's not perfect, that's how it was meant to be. So that's what I think I'm going to do for the background or the backing. I can't stop saying background. We, you know what I'm talking about. After all these goofy videos, you can probably read my mind. Anyway, so this is the quilt. Let me get out of the way and I'll let you take a closer peek. Here is a little closer peek at the brickwork quilt. This was an Annie's Attic pattern and I did it in these really cute flannels called Snow Place Like Home. And I tried to get all the directional ones going the right way. So yeah. I made a boo-boo right here. Where's my finger? These two are the same. I must have flipped something when I was doing it and I didn't see it till it was all done. But you know, right in the middle, nobody will notice, right? <laughs> and don't tell everybody your mistakes. Don't do what I just did. But anyway, it's going to be fine. Even though it's not perfect, it's still going to keep somebody warm and be cut, cuddly and cozy. So there is brickwork, you guys. Thank you so much for coming along. I know your time is valuable and I thank you so very much for coming along on this Brickwork Quilt Top journey with me today. Thank you so, so much. Please consider subscribing, liking, sharing with your friends, dropping me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, what you'd like to see next. Do you have any questions, concerns about this quilt? Um, it was really fun and there's there's Poe. He's, he's on the ironing table back there, just snooping around. So he's growing like a weed and now he's peeking out the curtain. Oh. He's a goofy little thing, keeps me on my toes. And Chrome too. She, I don't think she knows what to think about her little brother, but it's gonna be okay. So you guys, thank you so much for coming along on this journey. This is Dion at Four Clovers Quilting. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.